Well, last Saturday, as I was reflecting on today's gospel, the request by Bartimaeus, Master, I want to see, seemed to catch my attention. And I went to bed that night thinking about it all night long, and I just couldn't seem to get it out of my mind. To my surprise, when I woke up the next morning, my eyes were all swollen, they were tearing, and my vision was partially obscured. And I thought to myself, God, you really do have a sense of humor, don't you? (laughs) My wife took me to urgent care, and it turns out I had a double eye infection. And once I had received the antibiotics, it cleared up quickly. But as I was waiting, and I must say very impatiently to be seen by the doctor, I began to think about the story of Helen Keller. At the age of 18 months because of an illness, she became both deaf and blind. Imagine going through life not being able to see or to hear. Yet she became an accomplished author an Academy Award winner, and she was known for her deep compassion for others. For someone who never saw the world or heard a sound, she had this great internal vision. She could see the world spiritually with clarity and with the light of love. She once asked a friend who had taken this long walk through the woods what she had seen. Her friend replied, nothing in particular. And Keller's response was, how could that possibly be? She would go on to say that the greatest calamity that can befall people is not that they be born blind, but that they have eyes but fail to see. Today, we encounter the incredible faith of the blind man Bartimaeus. Jesus and his disciples meet him as they're passing through Jericho on their way to Jerusalem, where Jesus will shortly experience his passion, death, and resurrection. And Jericho was a common place for beggars to gather. Many rich people lived in Jericho, and it was a gateway for thousands of pilgrims to pass through on their way to the temple in Jerusalem for the Passover. And now I just want you to picture for a moment in your mind's eye a vast crowd surrounding Jesus. And as he's passing this gauntlet of beggars, he hears, Jesus, son of David, Have pity on me. Have pity on me. Is this not a natural inclination for all of us sinners? To seek Christ's mercy, to ask for his intervention, for healing spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and sometimes even physically. The crowd They initially rebuke Bartimaeus, but he is persistent in crying out. Finally, Jesus calls him. And what does Bartimaeus do? He throws off his cloak. He springs up and he goes in haste to Jesus. Jesus asks Bartimaeus a very simple question. What do you want me to do for you. And Bartimaeus' response, I want to see. Bartimaeus' physical blindness is a symbol of the blindness of a soul that all of us who are sinners experience. And the fact is, in some way, we are all Bartimaeus. And so often we are blind in one way or another blinded by sin, by pride, by ambition, by selfishness. We are all weak or wounded, begging for God's mercy. And we may not be 
physically blind, but we may fail to see what is truly important in life. Bartimaeus' request to Jesus, Master, I want to see, can be ours today. It requires us to set aside, to throw away, to strip off the burdensome cloak of sin that weighs us down and burdens our lives. If Jesus were to ask us today, what do you want me to do for you? How would we answer? What would we say? Would we imitate Bartimaeus by saying, Master, I want to see. You and I are likely never to experience complete physical blindness like Helen Keller or Bartimaeus. However, we may be spiritually blind in some way. Sitting in the doctor's office last Saturday kind of forced me to think about my own spiritual blindness and how often I have been impatient with myself, with other people, and situations which can kind of cloud my judgment and my actions. Perhaps a couple of hours chilling out, if you will, partially blind and having to wait patiently for the antibiotics to work was a gift from God to help me begin to see the way, his way, more clearly. Through faith and trust, perseverance and courage, we can overcome our spiritual blindness. We can come to see the world, not just with our eyes, but with our hearts and our minds and our souls. It is in seeing with our entire being that we gain the clarity of vision to follow Jesus as his disciple on the way to the heavenly Jerusalem. God bless you.